Hey, thanks for tuning in to another daily dose of free advice. I went to the Goodwill outlet this morning and I purchased about 16 items. Um, most of them were clothes, although I did find sterling silver candlestick holders, uh, short ones, stubby ones, maybe about uh, four inches tall. And I bought them for 69 70 cents. So I think I'd be able to um, sell those for at least ten, twelve dollars. Uh, so we'll see how that goes. All of my other purchases at the Goodwill Outlet this morning were clothes, and um, you know I walk into the um, Goodwill Outlet, and it seems that um, everybody else checks their civility and common decency at the door. So those of us that still bring our decency and civility inside often are trampled upon. And today I was a little trampled upon. I felt, uh, felt a little used, but uh, I, I, I made it through the day fine. Um, I, I refuse to sink to those low levels. Um, I figure if somebody needs to act that way to me, that uh, they probably need those pieces of clothing worse than I do. Uh, survival of the fittest? I don't know. Uh, I'd like to say that uh, karma will come back and get them someday. But anyway, enough of the rant. Let me show you what I got. Um, the first thing was a big dog's camp shirt and it's 100% rayon and I'm pretty sure that Big Dog is a brand that is not manufactured any longer so anything that you find um, is pretty good chance it'll be vintage. Next is a Nautica 100% cotton button down. Uh, Kitten pass that up. Looks nice. The next one is a Black Pearl Snap jacket heavy shirt jacket type Zara man I'm, I'm really not familiar with that maker um, if anybody is let me know I'm not even sure it might be one of those br department store brands like um, you know how Kohl's is Morona or and Faded Glory is Walmart I'm not sure if Zara man is one of those types of big box stores brand but I liked it and it was kind of heavy so I took a chance uh, never taking a chance when you buy one of these, they'll sell. Uh, old style, striped, 100% 100% PRL, button down shirt, hockey tie. I can't pass up any tie, especially the novelty ties. Take a look at that hockey tie. Then we have a Chicago Blackhawks cotton purse. This is in the style that a, um, a Vera Bradley purse might come in, uh, that type of material. I just thought it's neat. And, and to tell you the truth, is there any, any logo in sports that is as cool as that? I mean, that's just so cool. Next, I uh, picked up a uh, pair of uh, Under Armour jogger tights, women's. Uh, still has the tag on. They're in really great condition. Uh, the people that get to the to the bins first, they don't look hard enough, and that was sitting there. So I took it took it right away. Didn't even have to think twice about that. Uh, American Eagle Outfitters men's medium shirt. That's a classic classic style right there. PRL long sleeve cotton striped shirt, size large. That's nice. And um, because I'm into buying camp shirts and Hawaiian shirts, this is a very lightweight, uh, extra large, I believe. 100% uh, uh, RAM, but I've never actually seen that brand before Stephen Barry's classic Hawaiian so if anybody knows anything about that manufacturer and the uh, Zara man manufacturer that uh, talk about if they can leave comments that would be great um, I'd really like to know what you're finding and what's working for you because 
I've been selling on eBay for 17 years and I still find new things all the time. That's the way that you stay, you, you stay pertinent and you stay up to date is by changing up what you're doing. I'm always looking to change. So again, this is a, a small 10 piece haul that I got at the Goodwill outlet today. Thanks again for watching a daily dose of free advice.